Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerana.com, and this is the preview and tutorial for the Summerana Skin Essentials Action Collection. This is available for both Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. So I'm going to come over here to our before image, and the first thing I'm going to do is going to go over to my Action Collection, which I've already uploaded, and I'm going to go ahead and play Diminished Flaws. Press Continue. Press Continue. And here I have my healing brush tool selected and I have it sampled as current layer and I'm going to work on my work on this layer layer. I'm going to hold down the alt key on my keyboard and here I can select a patch of smooth skin holding alt and then let go of alt and then you can cover brush over the areas that you want to diminish. And I'm just going to do a quick example here. You can go up to the entire group layer here and adjust the opacity of how strong you want it to be. Next I'm going to go over to diminish wrinkles. This baby does not have any wrinkles, but you can also use it for under eye circles. I'm just going to hold down the alt key on a smooth patch of skin, or smoother than the wrinkles, and brush it over the wrinkled area. And you also have lighten shadows. And here you can just lighten areas where it's really dark. You also have recover blown out skin. So the same thing except it brings back some of the details and here I'm going to go ahead and click skin soft in each of these layers you can select the entire group to change the opacity or you can go to the individual layers to change the opacity so I'm going to be working in the black layer mask here and I'm going to choose a soft white paintbrush and I like to use 100 opacity that way I can just change the opacity of the layer and then I can go ahead and paint over the skin I want to smooth you want to go over just the skin parts and not uh, you know details like that You want to also make sure it matches the darkness or lightness of your skin. So if you want it a little darker, you can adjust the dark layer to make it darker. Each image might come out a little different, so you might need to adjust these. You can also turn on the more smooth layer and adjust the opacity of that. You can also adjust the opacity of your entire group. Once you're done, you can go down to Perfect Porcelain, and you can select a color of your skin, and also paint over that. In PS, uh, you can also just hold down the Alt key on your layer mask that you want to use, right here, and then you can drag it to this one, and select Replace Layer Mask, yes. That way you don't have to repaint over everything again. And you can also adjust the opacity. And I'm just showing a quick example. This is not perfect. I'm going to go ahead and bring depth back. Sometimes when you're softening skin a lot, you tend to lose some texture. And the details. Again, you can always adjust the opacity of that. Diminish oily skin. 
choose a darker color next to the oily skin. Press OK. And then you can paint over. You can also brighten skin, darken skin, skin glow. And if you ever make a mistake in your black layer mask and you want to bring back some of the details, just go ahead and select a soft black paintbrush to paint it back, which is erasing it, erasing the effect from your layer. You can also highlight and contour. So you want to select a color for your highlights, so a light color, and then also a darker color. From here, you can paint in your contour layer mask and your highlight. If you want to change the color, you can go ahead and double click the color box and select a different color. You can also banish color cast. So you select the color next to the part you want to banish. Press OK and just paint over the area. Just a quick example. You can also adjust the opacity of that. Um, banish the skin colors. You can do get rid of red, yellow, blue, purple. Select all the areas. You can select the plus dropper if you want to select more than one area. Press OK. And your black group layer mask, use a soft white paintbrush and you can paint over the red areas of your image. Now this works more uh, powerfully and extremely red if you want to up the opacity or you can just get rid of a little bit of the red by lowering that opacity. You can also adjust the opacity of each layer down here or just turn them off completely. You can also do the same thing with yellow, blue, purple skin. And you can also even skin tone. You can also add skin warmth. And with a lot of these, um, like brightening, darkening, adding warmth, you can also apply it to your entire image if that's what you wish. You can add rosy cheeks. Just select a natural color that you wish to add and paint it on. You can also apply this to your lips or anywhere else. Paint on color. There's another one you can apply to your entire image if you like. You can also play it again if you want to add more color to different areas of the image. And use a soft black layer mask, soft black paintbrush over your layer mask if you make a mistake. You can also do saturation checker and toner. What this does is you can turn on your saturation checker, which is this layer, and it'll show you areas where it might be a little too saturated. So then you go down in your toned down layer mask and you can paint over the areas that you might want to tone down a bit. Make sure you turn off this layer again so you can kind of see the before and after and up the opacity if you need it. 
And here I'm going to go down to it's all in details. I'm going to play my light guide. And I'm going to turn on my light guide after I get my highlight details action played. So here you can see when I turn on my light guide layer, you can see where all of the highlights are and the darker areas are. It just kind of helps guide you. You don't have to use it. So here I'm going to go my highlight details layer mask. And I'm just going to go over the highlights in the image. And this is just a quick example. I'm going to turn off my light guide when I'm done. Now it's a little too bright. You can also do the same thing for darken details. And I'm going to go ahead and go to sharpening details. Then you can go over the areas where you want to sharpen. You can adjust the opacity. Now the ones that flatten your image, you can go to your history and it takes snapshot for you along the way. So just in case you decide, oh no, I want all my layers back, I don't like this effect, you can just go ahead and select snapshot 6 or whatever one you were working on. I do that so that when you have a million duplicates of your background layer, it can um, lessen each effect. So I do this so that way every effect is perfectly um, accurate. And you can also, in the future, if you don't want your image to flatten, you can just select, or I'm sorry, control, make snapshot, flatten image, and you can delete those options if you want to. So that way, next time you run your action collection, um, it will run without flattening your image. So this was just a really quick um, before and after. But here is the before and after. I didn't really get all of the details that I would have liked, but I wanted to keep this short so you didn't have to sit through 30 minutes. So a quick before and after. Here are some more in detail before and afters that I did. So that's how you play your actions in Photoshop. I'm going to go over really quick into Photoshop Elements. Photoshop Elements 15 is almost exactly the same as the regular Photoshop. It does allow grouping layers. Um, unfortunately, under that, it does not. So I'm just going to show you really quick. It's all almost exactly the same, except there's no grouping layers. So when you want to, in Photoshop, you would normally um, have to do just the group. You're going to have to make sure, here, let me show you really quick. So uh, right here is your healing brush that it chose for you. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and do some softening here. You know, when you just lower the opacity of this layer, it's going to do your entire image. And the same with this, it's going to sharpen it. So you just want to make sure when you lower the opacity, you do them both the same exact amount. So now it's normal, it's just lower. So that's the only difference really here. Same thing here, make sure you lower the opacity or up the opacity of both layers. This is pretty much the same. Skin soft. So this one, unfortunately, you will have to paint over both layer masks. For it to be the same. So that's the lighter one, this is the darker. Too dark. 
you can lower the opacity. Ultra smooth, more smooth. Oops, and then the darker one. Make sure you have the right layer mask selected. So this is a little too dark up here. So I'm gonna go up to darkening. There we go, so I'm just gonna do a quick before and after. You kinda have to play more with the layers. Um, I really wish I could group them here also, but it still worked perfectly. Perfect porcelain, work the same. And once you go in, if you figure out, well, it doesn't really match my skin, you can double click and select a different color and then select OK. And you can always adjust the opacity. Diminish oily skin, this all works the exact same. Um, Banish red skin. So this one you will have to work in the other each individual layer. And you can adjust the opacity of each one. yellow skin, blue skin, purple, skin warmth, rosy cheeks, paint on color. These all work the same. The only difference here too also is the saturation checker and toner does not work um, in PSE. Rosy cheeks, light guide, so here you can unhide your light guide and unhide this one also and then there you have your light guide so after you're done using your highlight details darken details just make sure you turn off these layers again and then sharpening details so it all works pretty much the exact same and that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching